Hi, my name is Jen, and today we're looking at the Pilates exercise quadruped. Quadruped goes by a lot of different names. Some people refer to it as a bird dog, and in Elise Miller's Yoga for Scoliosis book, she refers to it as four-point stabilization. So a lot of people use this movement, this pose, this exercise for people with scoliosis and people with spinal fusions. I really like it because Again, like naturally, it's just done in a neutral pelvis, neutral spine, and there's a lot of actions that take place. There's weight bearing, there's balance, and there's a lot of core stabilization. My favorite way to approach this is to do it a little bit more mindfully and a little slowly. So we'll get right to that and I'll show you what I mean. We'll start quadruped by finding our position on our hands and knees. And we'll try to line up our shoulders right over our wrists and our hips right above our knees. And then from here, we'll use the concept of global expansion to widen our collarbones, widen through our ribs. Then we'll also use the idea of axial elongation to reach the crown of our head away from our sits bones. Then we'll slowly, without changing the shape of our spine, move the right leg back. Keep the toes tucked under. Move the left fingertips forward. And then float everything off the ground. Then take a few breaths. And then you'll do the same on the left. Move the left foot back. Reach the right fingers forward. Float everything off. On this one, you can imagine that you have a cup of tea balancing right at your low back, and maybe one in between your shoulders. So you don't want these two cups of tea to spill at all. So as you move the leg back, you stay really mindful of staying calm, balancing those cups of tea. You reach your left fingers forward, and then you float everything up, and nothing changes. There's no splashes out of those teacups. You find the stability and the calmness in the teacups again. Move the left foot back. Move the right fingers forward. If you have trouble with moving your hand and your arm to be aligned with your ear, you may also try to turn the palm towards the center of the body. Sometimes that can help with allowing the arm to come more aligned with the ear. Now, if you know where you have concavities or areas of collapse, this whole time you're going to think about how those areas are expanding.
Thanks for joining me today. Once again, my name is Jen Gorman. I'm a patient advocate and teacher for people with spinal fusions and scoliosis. I teach Pilates and yoga, and I'm also a personal trainer. If you'd like to find out more about me, you can find me at scoliosisandbackcare.com. Thanks so much.